Frank Carson coming off a hundred yard game and then he sat out the second half. Kyle Allen throws Denoyal first down. They attack the edge. They get to the 45. Jesse, you were telling us one of the reasons to spread the field and get the ball to the perimeter into the hands of your playmakers. Vanderbilt is an aggressive. Running some tempo now with four receivers out. Allen can't find an open man and he'll take off. And he'll step out of bounds. 16 to 22 overall, make it 17 to 23. 31 yard field goal turned after being shaken up. Vanderbilt down at the 25. Here comes play action. Shermer's in trouble. And that was big number 10, Deshaun Hall. Unblocked here, number 10 at the bottom of the screen. Way too fast to go catch up on Kyle Shermer at 6 foot 6, 260 pounds. Trying to rush five. Allen goes deep and caught at the 35 yard line. That was Speedy Doyle, number 34. The guy that was hurt most of the first half of the season had his best game against Auburn. Tommy, open shot, swallowed up, run is blocked. Aggies have it at the 12 yard so right up the middle. Number 35, you know what? It might have even been number 12. Sam Miller. Wow. The 12th man. The 12th man, Sam Miller, who's How been a that? beast all year long on kickoff cover. This from the left hash. So he is responsible for all six. Hit in the backfield by Armani Watts. Number 23 came flying. He just shoots the A gap. Gets a hit on a true freshman running back, but even Going to throw from his own end zone. Allen got a man and a foot race. Still going, Josh Reynolds. Touchdown, Texas A&M. 95 yards on a third down. And Kyle aggressive. They're going to play man to man and challenge. And that's a third and long situation. And they're comfortable leaving McGaster on an island with an explosive receiver who tied the school record with 13 touchdown catches a year ago. Look at Kyle Allen, he's saying that his defense. There's shot number one, and it's an interception. A bad throw. Devontae Harris was standing. Texas A&M, they're trying to run this curl route outside. Devontae Harris just squatted on the route. It looked to me like the receiver, I think. There's the running back. Kyle Allen takes a deep drop. Going down that far side, and Noel grabs it. It's a passing attack with a healthy Speedy Noel because now you've got two guys on the perimeter. Speedy Noel, high pointing it, strong hands. He got that right foot down, it looked like. This was on the money, folks. It was beautiful. Beautifully to Seals Jones to mid to their nickel corner locked up against the six foot five Ricky Seals Jones. It was great protection. Gave Allen a field goal attempt. 46 yards. And he is on the money again. Third down and 11. Allen steps away from the pressure and he hits Kirk. Allen has been almost perfect on these back shoulder throws in this game. First, tremendous. Good. Here comes the pressure. Down goes McCrary at the 45-yard line. Texas A&M has more conviction. Making good decisions. In trouble again. Fires got an open man. Carson, the running back. Yeah. See. And just trusting the system and letting it work for you. You got some pressure. You can find the running back down the sideline. Broken coverage. But never panicking, never freaking out. He just played with so much fun. Here's Carson. Plus three. Still going. Crosses the five. Headed for the end zone. This one you're going to watch right here. They haven't been able to do this all game long. Run the ball. Got it. Perfect.
perfect 23 yarders on the money. Guess again after today. First down and 10. And here comes Carson. Got the edge and battles for that first down. Punishing. Gives a few back. Don't want to give too many back, he'll fall back. Bama right now is the favorite to win the championship this year. Carson picks up the first down, 30, 25. And now they're shaking hands out on the field. And Texas A&M will take a W home. They shut out Vanderbilt.